viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at section C of the August 2022 science paper 2 which is basically the standard O level chemistry. Let us look at question C2. Calcium hydroxide or slacked lime is an industrial alkali. Question A. Explain Loma numero 1 the meaning of the term alkali. So basically just uh, defining what an alkali is. So let me just uh, create space so that I'm able to uh, explain what it is. Loma numero 1. So basically when you're talking about an alkali, uh, basically you're talking about uh, a basic hydroxide that is uh, basically soluble in water. Then that's uh, basically an alkali. So an alkali is a basic hydroxide that is soluble in water. That is the definition of an alkali. So basically an alkali would basically produce um, an hydroxide ions as the only negatively charged ion when it dissolved in water. Examples are basically a sodium hydroxide, we have a calcium hydroxide and the potassium hydroxide. These are examples of uh, an alkali which are we are giving as uh, basically examples and potassium hydroxide. So these are what we call alkali. Loma numero 2 of N, how calcium hydroxide is produced starting with limestone. And this is uh, basically 3 marks. So it should be in summary. So we're starting with limestone, which is uh, basically a calcium carbonate. Then how do we arrive at calcium hydroxide? Let us uh, just go to the page. Then so basically what happens in the first step we do are basically what is known as thermal decomposition. So the first step starts with thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate which is the limestone. So this is what happens. So calcium carbonate which is solid is basically heated. So when you heat this one basically we have a reversible reaction. This breaks down into calcium oxide, which is a solid, then plus carbon dioxide, which is a gas. That's the first reaction. Then this process takes place in the kiln. So basically the kiln is heated. So the kiln is heated. So it's heated in such a way that basically limestone is fed in from one side of the kiln, then uh, the lime itself will come out from the other side. What's the lime? So the lime is this calcium oxide. So once it comes from the other side, uh, basically to prevent um, the reaction to start reversing, remember this is a reversible reaction, the calcium oxide and calcium uh, carbon dioxide are separated because we don't want them to react there this uh, carbon dioxide is blown away in the kiln so that uh, basically the reversible reaction does not happen. So once that happens you go to the second step which is step 2. So in step 2 basically uh, slack lime uh, forms basically by reacting the lime itself which is calcium oxide with water. So in the second reaction is basically let me use a different color. So calcium oxide which is solid is reacted with water to give us basically calcium hydroxide which is this. And this is how you arrive at basically the slacked lime. So basically this is how we explain to get the three marks. Question B, give two large scale uses of calcium hydroxide. So just two large scale uses of calcium hydroxide. 
go to the new page so this is basically b the uses of calcium hydroxide so basically a uh, calcium hydroxide is uh, at industrial level is used uh, in the manufacturing of cement so one used in the manufacturing of a cement at industrial then number two used in the manufacturing or in making whichever is easier for you in manufacturing of a breaching powder so these are the two industrial use then also you notice that our calcium hydroxide is also used to neutralize acidity of the soil remember the equation that we looked at the general equation acid plus an alkali or a base will give us salt plus water so it's used in this so you get an acid it could be sulfuric acid then you react it with our calcium hydroxide to give you uh, calcium sulfate and water then you neutralize this acidity these are the key uses we look at question c a weak solution of calcium hydroxide is called lime water and it is used to test for carbon dioxide gas Roman numero 1 construct a chemical equation for the reaction include state symbols that's what the question requires us to do so see Lomani numero 1 when we react lime water which is calcium hydroxide with carbon dioxide uh, basically calcium carbonate is formed so what is happening is we have calcium hydroxide which is aqueous we react it with basically carbon gas then we are going to get a basically calcium carbonate which is solid then plus a basically water which is liquid so what is going to happen is this one oxygen from here is going to react to add here to carbon dioxide to form this carbonate then they combine with the calcium we get this calcium carbonate then because here we have two oxygen so remain with one oxygen with two hydrogen so these forms the water that we are seeing here so basically this is what is going to be uh, basically the reaction so what you notice in this case uh, this equation is already balanced so we have uh, basically one carbon here then one carbon here then we have three oxygen plus one which is four then here we have two plus two which is four so it's already a balanced equation Loman numero two of sim give the chemical name of the salt produced during the reaction so the salt which is uh, produced what's the chemical name of the salt produced so you notice that the salt produced is basically calcium carbonate okay this is uh, the salt which is produced so basically the chemical name of the salt produced is calcium carbonate remember this calcium carbonate is basically what we started with in the uh, the question on top when we are talking about limestone so limestone is basically the same as calcium carbonate loma numero 3 of c describe what is observed during the reaction so basically what will be observed during the reaction is uh, basically lime water turns milk that's what it will be observed so basically what will happen is uh, the calcium carbonate which is uh, formed when we react uh, calcium hydroxide with uh, carbon dioxide uh, is going to uh, form a white precipitate which is uh, basically responsible for the uh, milk appearance of the solution so the solution will appear like more of a thick uh, milk which is uh, basically the appearance so basically this is how you answer this question to get the 10 marks once more thank you for joining me in this episode remember your success at grade 12 depends on your extensive revision 
go through as many past papers as possible see how you answer the questions the more you answer questions you gain more confidence and you know how questions comes 